So today we're spending a couple of hours in Malta's old capital city, Emdina. With a population of just under 300, this is the center of Maltese nobility and it's sometimes referred to as the silent city. Now, besides being a main tourist attraction, Imdina is also on the tentative list of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So if you guys are here, you need to check this out. What's going on everyone? Frank and Gordon here and welcome to our first ever vlog and man are we excited about this one. Now if you guys are new to this channel, Gordon and I are all about helping people in sales dig out their inner potential to go further, faster. So today we're going to talk about the principle of principles when it comes to time management, sales, business, self-development and probably just about every facet of life. Now selling has a lot to do with management. You need to manage your time effectively, your clients effectively, your prospects effectively, along with your products and services. And that's why today we're going to be talking to you guys about the Pareto Principle or as some might know it, the 80-20 rule. Now listen to this, in the early 1900s there lived an Italian economist by the name of Vilfredo Pareto. Vilfredo Pareto. That's right, Vilfredo Pareto. <laughs> anyway, he devised a mathematical formula that discussed the unequal distribution of wealth in his country. He noticed that about 20% of the population actually owned 80% of the country's wealth. So this is how the principle actually began. Pareto realized that 80% of all results stemmed from 20% of causes. And this is how we got this common constant and turned it into a general principle, or in other words, a rule. That's right. In fact, if you think about it, 80% of your sales come from about 20% of your products or 20% of your services. Think about it a little bit differently. 80% of your sales actually come from about 20% of your clients. And 80% of your profits are generated from 20% of your sales team. And 80% of your outcome actually comes from 20% of your time. So this principle can be used on just about anything. Anything. So the point of it is to remind us that we need to focus on the 20% that make a real difference. To make the most of our time, to make the most of our resources, to make the most of anything, we've got to remember to focus on the 20% that matters. So to be an effective salesperson, you need to focus on 20% of what's giving you the results. 20% of your clients, 20% of your product, 
20% on whatever it is that's gonna give you the best results. And that is what you need to focus on. That's exactly right. That's what's gonna get us the results. So we've gotta make sure that we don't leave that 20% undone. If we want to reach our maximum results, our maximum potential, we've gotta focus on that 20%. So, the moral of the story is, if you want to better manage your time, effectively maximize your results, you need to take a close look at the tasks you're focusing on, the products and services you're offering, and make sure that you're focusing on the best 20%. That's exactly right. So, you need to ask yourself, which 20% is generating 80% of your profit? Which 20% of your products, which 20% of your customers are generating 80% of your sales? And once you've determined that, be sure to focus your time, your energy and your attention on that 20% because you'll know that that 20% is generating the bulk of your output and it's going to give you better time management and it's going to make you more organized. Well guys, thanks for watching and we hope that you enjoyed our first vlog about the 80-20 rule from the Pareto Principle. And if you did, don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And, and we'll see you guys in the next video.